Good morning. It's Queen Bill. I know you guys haven't seen me in a minute. I've been working long shifts, like 10 to 11 hours. Um, but I just wanted to say good morning, viewers and future subscribers. So I'm in the kitchen, um, cooking some eggs, and I want to eat some whole grain waffles. I had to work out today, so that's why I have my S on my chest, my workout gear on. Yeah, I work out three times a week now. Just trying to tone up and live a better life, like I told you guys. But I just want to come on and um, do a morning vlog. Just see how you guys are doing. Because um, it's been a long week. Had a birthday. My daughter turned two on Thursday. Jayla. Whoop. She's officially two, so we took her um, out on her birthday to play at Chuck E. Cheese. And she had fun the whole day. It's a beautiful day. And now, this week, I have Zachoria. She turns 14 on Friday. They're a week apart. They were supposed to be two days, so we're planning to take her out on Friday and have a girl's day. Get her from school early, get her nails done, buy some jewelry growing up on me my first baby she introduced me to motherhood she can be feisty very protective of her family and herself outspoken which I teach them to be so I'm very proud of her she's doing very good doing well she'll be entering high school next year and I'm super duper excited but I'm just like scared too because she'll be a high schooler and she's a freshman and you know seniors I don't know how they were when I was in school but I always teach them to wait don't rush into anything you know I know they're not gonna be young forever and they're not gonna like not pay attention to boys forever but I teach them the right and the wrongs because things can go really bad in young relationships I see so I just pray over them and ask God to protect them but everybody's doing well. Um, as I told you guys, I have a 14-year-old. I have a 12-year-old. And I have an 8-year-old and a 2-year-old. And I only have one son that's the 8-year-old. And he's so, so precious. But he is a little Pisces to himself. Doesn't like attention. Like, I'm a cancer. So, we love attention. We need it, I would say. But to me, I kind of, I'm kind of different. I don't really like the attention that I get, but you know, that's the thing about being cancer, being a woman cancer. So I don't know how the other cancers feel, but we, to me, we get a lot of attention that we, you know, they say we need, but sometimes I just like, no, I don't want it. It's too much, but I'm so thankful. I'm healthy. I'm happy. This is a lovely Monday. I'm off finally. So I get to work out. I get to, um, do some things around the house. And um, just chill out for today. Sorry, guys, I'm always in my face. I want to show you my, my ring, engagement ring. So, next year, I will be jumping the broom. I want to tell my viewers that I'm getting married. Yeah, so um, it's been a long time coming, and I'm so happy. So, I, you know, I would definitely go live on that day if he allows me. My fiance is a very private, private person. Scorpio, secretive, but trustworthy. So, um, I'm happy to be up. And I feel good. I had a headache earlier for some reason. Probably because I was had a stressful dream. But I prayed about it and now I'm good. I probably just need to get some food in my system. Because I've been working all weekend. Long hours, but I'm thankful for a job, and I just pray for everyone who's going through any trying times with their job, their family, their living arrangement, their um, loss of a loved one. I pray for everybody every day. Anybody with sickness, I pray for them too. Like you gotta know that you're healthy. You need to be thankful because that people are unhealthy, and you don't have to worry about their health. But they still persevere. Shout out to my brother. Still goes to work. Still does everything you know in their power to be you know among us and be feeling bad but they feel try to feel good and try to be you know uplifting even though they have like this major sickness they're dealing with so i appreciate everybody who comes in my life and the people that god removed out of my life you know it is what it is so 
I'm just happy and I'm trying to be a positive person. I know sometimes I fail at that from, you know, being negative where other people, would, you know, come at me. But I have to block it and I have to do better. So, you know, that's just me. That's going clear. That's cut. And I'm going to keep making my videos and my page will grow. It'll prosper, but I have to do the work, put in the work. So this is it for Queen Cleo. I'm about to work out, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.